Yeah. I'm going to take these off. Again, uh, what a game. Uh, what the two teams just getting after it. And, uh, you know, we, we as coaches from Arkansas made the comment the other day that after playing Oklahoma State on Saturday that this is one of the best teams we've played all year, one of the top two or three. And we play in a really good league. They play in a great league. Um, you know, I feel very fortunate to get out of this regional uh, with the win tonight and just to, to win the regional. Uh, they're physical. They have really good arms. There's really no weakness up and down the lineup. They've got speed. They can bunt. Good, good mix of left and right hand hitters and an outstanding coaching staff. And I just feel like that, you know, for us to, to win today, we had to have some things go our way, and we did. You know, they lined out to right. Um, that was a big play by Lanzilli, and I think the ball was hit low, the runner at second. Um, and I think that might have been the seventh inning. You know, he didn't tag because he, he didn't know if it was going to drop or not. And that was big time. He got one run in, but the runner was still at second. And then, uh, you know, obviously the, the big two out hits is what we got. And uh, it, just chipping away, you know. Getting that fifth run was huge. Even though we were up four to nothing at the time, they go in and hit a home run real quick. And all of a sudden, that run's gone. And then. I don't know. We just kept thinking we've got to score some more runs um, because history has shown here that in the eighth and ninth inning, no lead is safe. And, uh, you know, when Michael, you know, they just kept, Campbell just kept throwing change ups to our left handers and we told him, just sit soft, soft. He throws a fastball, just hope it doesn't hit you. Just look for a breaking ball or change up soft. And he was really the only lefty that kind of stuck with the plan. And he finally, after the fastball that was in that they complained about, he was just sitting on something soft. And he got it, and he hooked it down the line. And that was, uh, you know, it was a big relief on our side. But at the same time, we didn't feel like the game was over. And, uh, you know, I've been giving a long talk here, so I won't have to answer so many questions. But our pitching was outstanding. And started with Zach Morris, tremendous job. Cole Ramage came in and gave us everything he had. I mean, it was his third time, third time to throw this weekend. Um, Zebulon came in and got us a couple outs. And then, you know, Hagan came in and uh, he just flat out was not going to be denied. And uh, I think after we got the force out at second on the bump play, I think that kind of shocked him a little bit because we threw to second. And that was all on Wallace. He charged hard. The bunt was to him. He filled it clean, got his hand, made a perfect throw. He was out. And that took a little bit of steam out of him. Uh, then he hits him, hits the next guy in the knee. And then after that, he went to work. And uh, just an amazing, amazing job by Hagan in that tough situation with all that was on the line for our team. Today, uh, bases are well, they only got one out, and he gets two strikeouts. What just what'd you think that? The job Hagan did, and Michael, uh, after Dave answers that, I mean, what would you think of his, I don't know, demeanor on the mound, just the job he did getting you guys out of that gym? You, you, okay, I'll answer it again. It was unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was unbelievable. I mean, he was the guy. I had trouble sleeping last night, and I talked to Coach Hobbs before I went to bed. I talked to him when we met at breakfast, and I said, if it gets to the, to the last three innings of the game and it's tight, and our guys are all tired, Hagan's, he's ready to go. I mean, I asked the pitchers to text me last night. On the bus, I asked them, if you've got anything, you tell me what you got. And my phone started ding, ding, ding. Hagan Smith is the first text on my phone. And he said, my arm feels awesome. I want the ball in any situation. Um, he sent it to me. I got it before I even got up to my room when I spoke to him. And it, that meant something to me because I felt like, he really wanted the ball. He's got all the ability in the world. He didn't have a good outing, yes, the day before last. And to get out those good hitters, we need that kind of stuff on the mound. And once he got it together and he struck out nine hole, one hole, it was our team was, was jacked. And so it was he. We had to calm him down because the game wasn't over. So 
uh, just an incredible job by our pitching staff. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Well. Um, the text example is a good, uh, good um, explanation or word to describe him. He's a uh, He's always that guy that's that confident. Uh, him and Brady have the same mindset going into the game, and I love it. The guys are 18 years old, and I've never seen anything like that in my life, and it's, it's really fun to catch. Were you worried about a freshman being in that situation and bases loaded, one out, everything on the line? I mean, if there was going to be a freshman out there to do it, it was going to be him. Um, I thought he handled it really well. Uh, I tried to walk to home plate, give him a second, catch his breath, and just kind of take in the moment, and he settled in and did what we needed him to do. Dave, there was a a fan, an Arkansas fan up on the concourse, and when you brought Pagan in, everybody's kind of like, whoa, whoa, and he goes, let me tell you something, guys, he's really a natural closer, I'm telling you, he's a natural closer, and I don't know how you feel about that, but he well, to it's, right. it's, it's funny, can you give me that guy's number, if he needs a job, I might be able to hire him. <laughs> we talked about it in the fall, that if we had enough, we would love to close Hagen Smith, we loved him, because in the fall, what do we give him? two innings here, one inning there, and he was lights out most of the time, and we're going, wow. And this guy, this guy could pitch at 91 to 94, but if you say here's the ball for one inning, I mean, he, he touched 97, 98 in the fall, one inning here and there, and he turned 18 in August. He's the youngest guy on my team. So, yeah, I mean, uh, if we had that luxury to close him, that would be fantastic, so. Uh, we, we kind of saw some things we needed to see tonight. You know, I would have loved to have won yesterday, but since we won tonight in the way we won, maybe it was maybe that's what we needed to see. You, you touched on some of these defensive plays, but in particular the one that Wallace made to end the second and the one that Moore made to end the third. How, how big of a momentum swing did you feel like that was? Well, Wallace's play might have saved the game because, you know, base is loaded, jam shot, he's playing back a little bit, bare hands, throws the ball on the money, and fall, you know, leaves his feet, never goes back. He goes to the ground. So there, that would have been one run in, or he could have thrown it down the line. They had three in. Uh, wouldn't you know who's coming up next? Probably Riggio, I think. So he might have hit one in the seats because that's what he did all weekend. And, I mean, who knows? And, I mean, if you can pitch and play defense, you're going to be in the game. Um, you got to hit, but... That was an incredible play. Robert made a couple of nice plays. You know, Stovall made a nice play. I mean, there was just a lot of nice plays tonight. Talk about your mindset coming in and how long did you think you could go or were you just, you know, on the news? Yeah, so going back to kind of what Coach McHorn <laughs> said on the bus last night, well, he just said, text me any pitcher, what do you, like, let me know what you can do. And, you know, I texted him, I just said, whatever's needed in any situation. And so I just felt like, you know, it, could have been our, my last game ever here. And so I just knew that I had to give it all I had. And um, I was ready to throw until the game was over with. But, um, you know, we had a lot of people in the bullpen that could still throw, you know. Going to Zeb and Hagen afterwards was uh, was big time. What did you think of the job the pitchers did tonight? And then could you describe the, the hit you had in the ninth inning? That was such, such a big hit off Campbell. Yeah, uh, they did a great job. Um, we knew going into the game it was going to be all hands on deck. and. Everybody down there was ready to go in the game with the right mindset. So it's it's fun to catch, man. We got some electric arms. And on the hit, um, I don't know. Just, just trying to have fun and put a good swing on a hanging changeup. That was all. Dave, how easy was it to start Zach tonight? And, and what did you think of his performance? Zach, Zach looked great to me. I mean, he seemed calm, cool, and collected out there, just flipping it up there about 91, 92. I don't know. I don't know. I, I only look up there every now and then. I'm a little superstitious towards that. I don't, really don't even want to know what they're throwing. I just want them to throw strikes. Um, he looked good, you know. I mean, he gave us a couple of pretty good innings. And then there, and I guess it was the fourth when he walked a, a hitter or two. It wasn't like he was scattering it. But it was time to get him, you know. I look back on it. I wish I wouldn't have started him back in that inning. Um, but but he really didn't give us any reason to not send him back out. And uh, – except that he'd already pitched once this weekend, and he's probably getting tired, you know. So I thought he did a, a great job, and, you know, I would have no problem starting him next weekend or, or whenever, you know. We'll just, you know, I sure like him in the bullpen because he knows, if I know what he can do, he can come in and settle it down and fill it up. And this is a guy who didn't get to pitch a whole lot the first half of the season and frustrated. When he did pitch, it was okay, and then it was good, then it was okay, and then it was bad. And, 
I know Coach talked with him, Coach Hobbs talked with him and um, gave him the ball. And man, he, ever since that, he was that another one of those arms. We kept saying, we need one more guy. We need two more guys. And that's why we're sitting here right now, because we have some guys step it up. Yes, Dave, you know, I think this is your, going to be your 13th Super Regional. It's going to be, Michael, it's going to be your first. Day. Maybe each of you could just maybe describe the emotions, the feelings about doing that for the first time and for the 13th time. It's cool. Um, I don't know. I have would never have been in this situation a couple of years ago, so I'm super excited about it and just trying to do everything I can to help the team win. Stovall had two to uh, uh RBI singles both played a dead battle. Just talk about him coming through this tournament. He had several big hits. I, I've seen him finally relax. And he sat, we sat him for about two and a half, three weeks when he hurt his finger. And the day he hurt his finger, he wasn't playing. I had him working out at second base, working with him. About the third ball he gets, takes a bad hop, hits him in the fingers, bleeding all over the place. And uh, put some other guys in the lineup. We, we were winning some games. We were hitting pretty good. And and we had a, we had a meeting with him. and. Told him what he needed to work on, and seemed like he just relaxed. You know, I think the kid had a lot of pressure on him. Start the year, too much hype. Nobody's nobody can play in this league that that well. A lot of times, you know, when you have that on you, um, I think he's really swinging the bat a lot better, swinging at better pitches. Those were huge, huge RBIs. That fifth run was big for us. I think Michael was sitting right next to me or standing next to me when he got that hit, lined it up the middle with two strikes, and you were pretty excited about it. Yeah, I was excited. And, uh, you know, because he's, he's starting to drive in some runs down there for us and be a tough out. Did you answer that question about the 13 Supers? Yeah, that's – I didn't know it was that many. That's it's, – it's amazing. I mean, it's – if you get to a Super, you got a chance. And uh, it's, it's hard to get to – it's hard to get to a regional – it's super hard to get to a super, no pun intended, okay? But uh, I'm excited for the, for the team because, uh, you know, we, we, get to, we get to keep playing together. I feel like in the last two weeks the team's gotten closer than it's been all year. You can feel it. You can see it. And they don't want to lose, and they want to they keep playing. So we'll go back and get some rest and uh, get, our, get everything set up, find out when we play. We're playing Friday or Saturday. and. We'll head east. I'm looking forward to it again. What do you think about North Carolina off the top of your head? Yeah, I mean, uh, preseason they were up there pretty good. They like all of us. They had a little rough patch in there, and then they fought back out of it. And uh, they're just really solid. Um, you know, I don't know their names. Um, they have a beautiful ballpark, probably about 10 years old, new and really nice setting, beautiful campus. I've been on the campus. I've never – played a game there. I've never played North Carolina in all my years, believe it or not. I can't remember ever playing them. Dave, considering the way the ballpark played all weekend and pitching staff running low today, were you, were you surprised at all that the game played out the way it did, or did you kind of have a feeling it would maybe be that way? <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I'm, no, I mean, eight, nine, both teams in there is probably what I thought would have gone down. But you could tell that, you know, Oklahoma State is probably tired. I mean, they played all day yesterday, uh, been in their shoes before, and sometimes you're just not quite there because you're just fatigue set in. Um, so after an inning or two, I guess before the game, yeah, I, I thought the score would be seven to six, eight to seven. I knew it was going to be tight. Um, I didn't like the fact that we were visitors. Uh, I didn't want to talk about it because I didn't want them getting the last at bat if it was tight. But uh, – but once the game got going, I, I thought, I thought their starter did a great job. You know, he wasn't trying to overpower us. He was just pitching, throwing that cutter, slider, whatever it was, and we were having trouble with it. our right-handers. Had a lot of trouble with it. Lefties were okay, um, but uh, I don't know. That's a tough question to answer because baseball. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if it was two to one after all that's gone on. Michael was the MVP of the regional. Uh, for awesome. For you and Cole, congratulations. What do you think of his performance? Uh, it's unbelievable. Man, I mean, that's a tough position back there in the heat, catching, throwing, and sweating, and grinding, and calling pitches. It can be a little stressful. And then trying to hit. Um, I mean, that, that, takes, that takes a tough individual to do what he does. And uh, I've always said this, catching's the best position on the field. You're the only one facing the whole field. 
and it's you're involved in every play and uh, you got to have special people back there if you're going to have a good team were you finished or did anyone catch up no. all, all I got to say is I'm really glad he's on our team that's a hot guy um, Michael what, what, what do you think of Stovall the way he's played uh, since he came back from that injury uh, it's great um, yeah like coach said I think he's relaxed now um he talks to Caden and I a lot, and I think uh, talking to older guys, if I was in his shoes, I would talk to some older guys and kind of get some advice, and I think we helped him relax a little bit, and he's just being himself, just like he was in high school last year when he was having all these prestigious big things said about him, but like Coach said, it's a lot of pressure, so when he relaxes and plays like himself, uh, he's a real deal. Dave, I guess, I guess you passed Norm. Uh, from you got it, one more NCAA one now than, than he does. That, that kind of protects our candidates. But um, just where do you come up with all this stuff? Actually, Matt <laughs> Matt wrote about it. I just, I just read. Norm's it. the best. Norm's the best. I don't. Yeah. I, I just, what, what does that mean to you to, to pass him? And you know, some people might say, and you're obviously a great coach. Some people might say you're the best coach ever at Arkansas. But you know, I'd argue Norm. You know, both about yeah, uh, Norm's the best coach ever. I'm still working. Um, he's a. Uh, he did it when they they played at the fairgrounds. And they had a crappy field. They had nothing. He did it then. Yeah, you know maybe they play some different teams than we play these days. I haven't won that many games at Arkansas. That's just from Division Two one year to Division One. How many years I've been coaching? So, um, hey, it's it's awesome. It's an honor. I've had a lot of great players and a lot of great coaches and. We've won a lot of games. Um, I'm proud of it, but never did I ever go try to catch Norm DeBryan because, you know, I worked for him. I played for him. We talk. We text all the time. He comes by my office. The man's 81, 82 years old. He comes by for 15 minutes, and then he, we talk for a minute, and he'll get up and say, well, I got my baseball fix. I'll see you later. I'll see you, Norm. It's, been, it's pretty cool. What's your last Oh, Michael, uh, I think it was the fourth inning you threw behind the guy at first and got him. Like, you walk us through what you saw in that play? and Yeah. Uh, two pitches prior before uh, Cole came in the game, I saw he was getting a pretty big lead, and which he had the right to do, so uh, Stovall was shifted over a little bit. And it kind of worked out perfect when Cole came in because I wanted to talk to Stovall, but I didn't really want everybody to know what was going on. So we just discussed it out there and told Cole that, look, I want an outside fastball right here because there was a righty up. And he put it in a perfect spot and just bang, bang, play. And it was cool. Cole, how big of an out was that for you? You know, got helped you get out of the inning without having to face the top of the order. Yeah, it's huge. You know, you, you come in in that situation, you get one out, and, you know, just that, that extra out is, is huge to get to that two outs because you know that – you know, you can get a strikeout and get out of it. You can get a pop out and get a ground ball. You can get anything. And um, just knowing that we got a guy back there that can make plays and get a give me an extra out whenever I'm on the mound is is um, is really good to you know have in the back of my mind. But uh, just it, that getting that second out is big time. You know, it, it it calms the situation down a little bit. It takes a little bit of pressure off. And uh, just knowing that I, I just got to get the guy out of, at uh, at the plate because you know when I when I went out to the mound to make a change that was all Michael and he said so Cole's running in and he says he starts talking to Stovall and me and he says the guy's getting a big lead I think we can pick him off and uh and the only thing that I said is then what I want Stovall to do is we're going to cheat a little bit and you're going to as the pitch is being delivered you're going to have to start moving that way if he hits it in the hole hey, it gets us and, I mean, that was all Michael Turner. He, he saw the field, like I just talked about, and he saw that we had a chance to do it. That was a huge play in the game. That was a momentum killer right there. And uh, that, that's what you want behind the plate. Michael, when you were in here on Thursday, you were talking about rest, and he said he thought that might help you this week. And looking back on it, having that week off, how much do you think that helps you? catch four days, have the cycle of weekly It helped a lot. Uh, this is by far the most I've ever caught in my career, and then one season for sure, and I can't remember the last time I've caught four days in a row. So that rest was uh, nice, not only for me, but I think for everyone on the team. Uh, it kind of brought everybody together, and I just felt confident going into this weekend. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right.